What is up, bro? This is Rogue Galaxy 9206. Coming at you with another video. Metal Gear Solid. Silent. I said Silent. Let's try that again. Metal Gear Solid 2. Substance. But it's Sons of Liberty. I'll be playing. I just did the first part, which was the. Um, I'm gonna find out right now because I'm a complete idiot. I did the first part. First part, which was the tank. That's the first part. See, these dentures are messing up. I did the first part, which was the tanker. Now I'm going to do the plant. So let's go load that PlayStation 2 data. Just finished the plant. I mean the tanker. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so let's do the plant. <laughs> so here we go. Let's load the data. Let us begin. Ah, oh, man. Let us not try to sweat like a hog. But I'm going to sweat really bad. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm still kind of feeling sick under the weather. <clears throat> Clear my throat a lot. Yeah, the propaganda. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEALs. When I first heard this, you know, not Russian knowing about the propaganda of um, switching the character. It's a highly trained group. I thought that maybe like the original control. voice actor was like not able to do it. And I'm like, yeah, that's not Snake. I thought, I was like, okay, maybe there's like, I heard, you know, there's issues with, you know, the game being delayed because of, uh, you know, 9-11. Um, so I'm like, maybe they just like decided to do, you know, you know, that whole switcheroo. I've seen Square Enix do that between the, um, the differences between, I think, Noir and Nier, whatever the game is called, the Japanese. What are their demands? Version. Thirty billion dollars. So I'm like, thirty billion dollars. What doing makes the them think thing? they can get that much? There but was a government-sponsored yeah, tour going on at the big shell that day. Here. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major you don't conservation play as the true and one from their own government. The most so important person in the guns sense. of the Patriots. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Snakey Unless the demands are met, boss, the terrorists snakey, intend snakey, to blow whatever. the big shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the Bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Isn't that kind of funny? Um, what is it? Nine, eight years later, nine years later, you have two you mission have the objectives. whole thing in the golf course, the golf course, the you see my dentures are actually not facility, again. big shell, and safeguard the president. At the time, hostages. speaking of that, I was at the dentist. Disarm the terrorists by any means. Yeah, that's why my teeth were jacked up in the first place. Because, you know, while she's working on my teeth, she's actually trying to watch this whole thing in the golf course. You and I noticed that ever that since then, Team I've been having also speech conducting a rescue operation. And it's getting worse. So eventually, I'm going to be 50 times 50. Is my this teeth a joint No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. But it's all right. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. 
There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You're not Snake. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. That's when I was like, you know okay, what? Okay, we'll skip that part. That's not Snake. Make sure nobody like sees you. Come on. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. Yeah. When you hear that noise, press, press the select, select button. button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. Ugh. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. Yeah, the man. suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin they, like, military R&D. something with the crotch? Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between cheeks. the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. Yeah. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal yeah, organs to maximize performance and waste. safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Let me play right away? Wow, look at that. It's been so long since I played this. Cockroaches? What are those? Let me take a look. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Like silverfish. Can I hop up here? Nope. I'm not going around. Can I go into the water? I can swim. Yeah. What you want, man? Got your feet wet? These are the basic controls for swimming. Oh. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left analog stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Yeah. I don't even know what the punch button is. That's not it. That's not it. That's the punch button. Circle. This does look pretty good. You know, this is a big difference between the um, first one I was playing. It gives you a lot of more um, thingies. A lot more of, um, wait, something down here? Go down, man, wait, wait, wait. There's gotta be some sweet life juices around here. Oh, no sweet life juices. Do you have cigarettes? Oh, no cigarettes. At least not yet. I don't believe. But yeah, like, I like the gameplay to this a lot better. Now. I can't really say that, you know, I can't speak for myself back in 1998 where, you know, playing the original Metal Gear and having fun. Especially, you know, when you like, you know, you get the bandana for saving Meryl, you get the stuff camouflage for saving Otacon. And it's, it has, you know, that, that nice feature to it, you know, when you do that, but, you know, this, this ain't too bad as is, but. Shimmy over. Can I shimmy? 
Oh, I gotta hop up. Okay. I'm just trying to get that stuff over there. No! Ah, screw it. I don't know, to me, I think after when I first finally was able to play Splinter Cell, I did cast this off as, you know, not being on the same level as um, Splinter Cell. But they each have their own, man, I cannot see anything. They each have their own, you know, their own thingies, which I, I kind of like that. You know, Splinter Cell at the time had you interrogating people. It had more of a realistic storyline. I believe the game was two years, three years into the future. Oh, the sweet life juices. So if the year it came out was like 2002, I believe, Splinter Cell, the first one. The game actually took place in 2004. So to me, that kind of gave it a little bit of longevity by at least two years. You know, it still kind of felt relevant. You know, even though now it's like, you know, looking at it, it's like, man, this stuff is old. You know, you kind of had a jump. This game, you can't jump. Could you swim? You couldn't swim in the original Splinter Cell. I don't, you, I don't... I haven't played Blacklist. I have Blacklist somewhere. What the heck is going on? Open that door, dude, and see what's going on. Oh, dude's knocked out. You can take him out, man. Oh, we gotta call in first. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Okay, so I could take them out myself. There's no radar too. I noticed that. Did I asked for. I did ask for radar. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it'll come up later on. Uh, I did like the locations in Splinter Cell. The first and the second one. Third one, uh, yeah, that snake. I know those buns anywhere. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Oh, it's like Whoever he is, bodies. he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not <laughs> nerd. Node. Nerd. Use the node to Dummy. gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? I thought it was a Soliton. True. That radar came in useful during VR training. Uh, uh, the radar oh, excuse system me. uses uh. biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. Yeah, that's what you do. How do I gain access? Press the Just button. push the action, action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, but at the time, you know, I cast away this game. I was playing um, a guy and a guy and another guy. 
Sam Fisher. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They That's must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. <laughs> okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. I'm pressing the action button, the punch button. Oh, my bad, wrong button. This is the triangle button. You get that shock, that blah, 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 blah. yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh! Did you like that, huh? My name? Ah, oh, boy. Okay. All right. What is my name? What name do I want to use? Okay. I could use my real name. I could use my gamer name. I could use my racist. Um. <laughs> My racist Google Marketplace name, which is Rogue Gorilla. Like, okay, you look like a black man, so let's just call you Rogue Gorilla because you know that just seems, you know, like something that you would be called. So I'm think I'm just gonna use my gamer tag, which is also what I call myself when I sleep. R. Oh, where's the O? G. You. E. I think Rogue would just be good. Instead of just the whole Rogue Galaxy. Right? Just call myself Rogue. And just like Rogue, I can't touch people neither. Am I a male? Female. You see, I know now, like nowadays, you'll be like, oh my goodness, that's horrible. Where's other? But I'm called I'm a male. What year was I born? I'm not gonna answer that, divulge that type of info. So I'll be like 1940, that sounds like a good year. Eight, 15. My blood type is, I don't know what my blood type is. Where am I from? You know what, I don't wanna be in a part of the USA. I wanna be a part of, uh, let's see what we got here. Zambia, yeah, Zam or oh, Zimbabwe. Uh, I don't know where I'm from. That's good. <laughs> so I am rogue. I am. I don't know where I'm from. I'm born in 1940, which would make me close to 80. Right? Yeah. So I want the vibration on. Dad, they don't let me see the vibration. Like feel it. Like that. Zzz, zzz, you know. Oh, yeah, that's good. I guess. Let's begin. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. But it's green. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. They should have fixed that. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong the, harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves no and an melee. analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? 